Welcome back guys, welcome to another video. I'm finally getting around to doing this 2v2 analysis. I've been super busy with exam weeks and just school in general. But here I'm gonna come back with a 2v2 analysis where this I believe is one of the best ways to improve your gameplay and decision making. And it's really what pushed me from upper champ one slash lower champ two into, into grand champ. Honestly, the decision making is one of the best things you need to improve in order to push into the upper champs so by champ 2 you already have mechanics down for the most part and it's just about getting faster and being where you need to be so one of the best ways to do that is watching your replays i have a replay here it's a tight game two to one and i have epic pen up and ready to go i haven't used it before so bear with me on that one so i'm gonna switch to my player cam here turn down the volume a little bit should be good and then we'll go here and i'll go through it if you hear my keyboard and mouse it's just because it's loud so on kickoffs you want to generally try to win it and make it as easy for your teammate as possible so this touch was bad i shouldn't have taken that touch there i just had to get a bump in order to have it be able to recover here i can follow this up fast i messed up this dribble here really bad that guy kind of scared me not gonna lie so here I gotta wait for his touch. I have to jump early, otherwise he's gonna be able to get a free shot. That's a good follow from my teammate. Here I'm just trying to be open for a pass. I see he's gonna start sideways, so I just go back. So he fell there. And I'm not gonna follow this just because it's a waste of boost. Unfortunate touch there, I probably should have left it. I thought I had the read in the right spot, but I should have just done better. There, I probably should have saw my teammate jump, but it's not a big deal. I have to jump off his touch. Teammate probably shouldn't have jumped there, but it's okay. He probably didn't know if I was going to get to it. He beats me to the boost, but I got to follow. I try to get a high touch. I should have done better here. Okay, so here. On this touch, I shouldn't turn in here. Uh, once I can find, oh, that's not what I want to do. Once I can find this epic pen here. So here, instead of turning this way, like I did, I should rotate out. This is not the right decision. That's not what you want to do. Instead, I should have turned this way and rotated out back. So we can cancel this here and we can watch it. Because this guy that just comes up to the ball it's gonna clear it big this way. So instead, if I turn this way and go back, I'm already on the receiving end of this. That's where I would have been. I should have let my teammate go there as well. He turned it ahead of me. I just had to try to follow it up and just keep him grounded. Just try to challenge for my teammate so he doesn't get a flick off. Charge is fine. I'm pretty sure my teammate's little boost here, so I rotate back post and I'm waiting on his touch. There. Probably should have been better. I'm here for a pass. I missed this shot completely. That was really poor for me. So I just kind of buy some time for my teammate because I knew he was on the way back. He took their boost, so the other guy wasn't going to have any. I wait on his touch here. Was kind of confused, wasn't really sure what he was doing, so I waited. I probably could have gotten up a little earlier and it would have been okay. I go for a demo. That's okay, I should be able to get back to this. Gotta wait here. Not enough boost to do very much with it. There they probably should have scored, but he just had bad touches. On there I saw the other guy was going back for boost, so I just kind of waited and was able to get boost there. I rotate all the way back here because I know he's going to get clear. I don't go for that boost, so this is huge. So right here, when I see this ball coming in, many people would turn and go this way for the boost before going. They turn off ball cam and just go that way. Instead, I see this guy is gonna come across and hit this this way. So instead, what I have to do is I turn inside and cover the goal from a shadowing spot. I have enough, I'm pretty sure, I don't remember if I pick up a 12 pad here, we can watch. I don't pick up a 12 pad, but his touch was poor where I was going to be able to save it. If I turn towards boost there, we automatically get scored on. And we're down 1-0 at that point. 
Just a soft touch so I'm able to follow it up. Or at least 50 it. Not the best 50, but that's okay. Just go back just in case he, my teammate doesn't get it. I have to follow this up because my teammate... I messed up a dribble again. My dribbling was not so great this game. My teammate was really far away, so instead of letting them opt for a dribble... I think I tried to get a bump there, but I backflipped. It was a good follow from my teammate. So we'll keep going here. I think I called this kickoff. There, it's fine. Take my time here. Just kind of go for a 50. So I'm able to follow it up. Just bump him out of the way. So bumps are huge in twos. It's basically like extended ones where any little thing can probably lead to a goal. To jump up. I try to get a soft touch so my teammate can jump early. And he's backwards so he's not going to be able to accelerate towards the ball. I don't turn there because I know he's closer. And he's not going to get another touch here so I try to go for a side touch. Probably could have done better in the recovery. We got a little lucky there. I turn inside just in case my teammate doesn't go. This was my fault here. This was 100% my fault. So here, oh wait, uh, give me a second. So on this touch, I definitely have enough boost. So here I have 60. And we'll keep going here. I should have gone up for this ball before this guy even turns. So I'll back it up a little bit. So this guy hasn't turned yet. He's about to turn center and then go up for this ball. So what I should have done is as soon as this goes off the wall, my teammate is able to recover already. He's already on the wall and is able to rotate in behind me if I do miss. So I should have gone up for this ball right away as soon as I see it. Because this guy is going to go back towards that boost and then this guy is going to turn towards the ball. But instead, I give them way too much time. Like there I should have already been in the air. I would have beaten him to it too and possibly scored. I think what happened in the, in the moment was I didn't think the guy was going to turn so I just went backwards. I didn't think he was going to turn as early as he did. Decent 50 there. I turned towards the ball because I saw the other guy was going towards boost. I missed the boost so I'm not going to turn again towards the boost. I just try to stay close. He misses here and my teammate's back so I'm able to go for boost there. I think I just miscalculated the jump. So I go towards boost, the guy's going towards the mid boost, so he's not, he doesn't have any boost, he gets demoed anyway by my teammate. This is what I should have done in the first one. I probably should have scored there, but that's okay. Not the best 50 for my teammate, but it should be okay. There I had to pre-jump his save, and then there should be a free goal for us. So 13 seconds left, I'm going to go in and see what happened, what they did wrong. So I'm going to go back. As soon as I get the right tab open. Here we go. I'm going to go back here. So what happened? I'm going to go to... My cursor here. And then player view. Let's see what Jax does. So here he just misses. Teammate gets a 50. He should have scored that 100%. I don't know if he tried to pass it or just missed it. But he sees his teammate going left. Doesn't really take a peek. So we can see auto cam here. That works just fine. His teammate's going for boost. So I don't know if you just assume that um, the teammate was going to be mid. But I had to pre-jump to save. And he had a free goal pretty much. And then we go to yeet. Sheik yeet here. So as soon as my teammate turns for this ball. He can see that his teammate is in their goal on the post. So what he should do here is take my cursor here. See, my teammate's going this ball this way with control towards their net, right? So what he should do, this this guy right here, he should turn towards this way and adopt a shadowing position. So let's see what he does here instead. He tries to jump early, but my teammate's way closer than the ball. So my teammate's going to be here pushing it this way. 
somewhere in that direction. That's not a fantastic drawing, but he's going to get it over him. He's so far away that if he even tries to black here, he would have to try to black somewhere in this area instead of going straight at the ball. So this also means that he puts his teammate in a terrible position here. So this guy is going to be super slow recovering back, and there's going to be no way that he's going to be able to beat my teammate through. So we just watch it out. He gets beat here. My, the other teammate's slow, and then he just gets a free goal. It's little things like that and little things you have to watch out for. We'll just watch it out from my perspective here. Just had to get a touch. I go for his boost because he's not going to have any boost there. A little bit dangerous. I'm pretty sure I missed his pre-jump, but I just kind of made the guy scared, I guess. Really fortunate not to hit my teammate there. I wasn't sure when he was going to go. Just kind of bump him out of the way. I tried to get the goal, but it's just straight up missed. But after that, all in all, we played pretty solid. We probably should have won by a little bit more just because we had a few open nets, but they also probably should have won it at the end where they gave us a goal instead. It's, t it's the little details in the game where that guy got a little bit too anxious to try to tackle the ball when there's a little time left when he probably would have been safer just playing through the overtime. If it goes into overtime, it's still anyone's game, but when he throws himself in like that, um, he just basically just gives us the free goal and the win. It's just unfortunate. But this is going to be one of my 2v2 analysis for now. If you want me to do more, then <clears throat> let me know in a comment below. <clears throat> if you want me to do one of your analysis, then put a comment in the bottom and just let me know. And then I can get you in our Discord or something and we'll be able to we'll be able to show your replay and I'll do a replay on that a little bit more in depth too. Thanks for watching guys and until next time, peace.